one sleep for the day? No. <laughs> no, we had that, um, we actually play those games at our flat. Um, and um, our flatmate Peaches, he, um, he tends to be the slave, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, it'll um, be getting down in um, down Christchurch to the South Island. Um, yeah, on the frosty mornings, bare feet. Um, and then, yeah, played, so played my secondary school rugby in Christchurch Boys, and then I moved up to Hawke's Bay. And now I've um, found myself playing for the Chiefs, so yeah, pretty big ride. Great buzz, eh? Um, boys have been working hard um, throughout the year and got great coaching staff, so I nah, can't, um, can't help you know, thinking that you know, we could go all the way. Uh, to relax, I uh, love to go fishing, eh? Love to go um, trout fishing, take my missus with me, um, and we love um, just going exploring. Um, in the back country and um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty relaxing that kind of stuff but apart from that when we're training and, and stuff like that usually just yeah just just play some mini golf or just chill with um, flatmates. I do love love going home um, back to the bay and to um, Christchurch so it's obviously a good time to reflect and assess how you're going throughout the season and um, just been back there actually recently so that was great pretty cold down there though. On the farm like, we didn't really have any like um, Mum never got, mum and dad never got Sky or bought us PlayStation or anything like that. So, you know, there wasn't much else to do than go and keep the rugby ball in the backfield or, you know, practice. So, I'm quite, a, um, you know, quite thankful for, for um, what they've done and brought, brought us up that way. So, um, I think if, I, if they bought me to Sky and bloody all that other fancy stuff, I probably wouldn't be here. So, oh, I kind of thank them for that. Do. Um, doing an environmental science, Bachelor of Environmental Science, so about two years through that one. Um, and yeah, as you say, <laughs> she's taking a long time and just doing a paper next semester, so yeah, she's um, hard draft because, you know, you don't see the finish line um, that quickly. Um, but yeah, obviously wanted to get into something environmentally friendly um, when, I've, when I leave, leave the Chiefs or leave uh, my rugby career, because um, I would it's what, it's what I enjoy and um, it's what I enjoy studying. So, yeah. yeah, the um, best piece of advice I could probably give um, any youngsters coming through is just probably just over, probably mentally, um, making sure you've um, got goals throughout the season and you're um, consistent throughout the season as well. I think those two big things um, can make you step up to that next level because um, I, I, I don't think I'm physically. Um, as elite as other players, but I feel like I've done those two things well. So um, that's probably a piece of advice I'd give to any youngster coming through, is just get your mental attitude right and you'll go far.